we know who we are. We gotta push and go harder than we ever have before. It's the only thing we can do, it's the only thing we can control, which is our efforts. How did the offense change on Saturday once MJ came back in? Uh, I didn't really notice. I, honestly, I think, and M, yeah, MJ did hand me a ball off in the desk. I didn't really notice at first. Like, I had no idea. Uh, when you put quarterback in this system, kind of all the same. You know, all the quarterbacks are already successful, regardless who's in. Um, I think the system is that good. Coach Rod does a heck of a job. With Mike going down, how does that shift the load to, to you and the other running backs? Well, like we said, we're a committee. <laughs> it's four of us. It's been four of us. People just look at us. And just because two of them haven't got a lot of acknowledgement doesn't mean they're not ready. As you can see, when they stepped in there, they were completely ready. And they handled it. And they played really well. I'm really proud of them. And I know... I, I know what they're going to do. I expect that. What do Dre and Rayvon bring to the table when they are getting more carries? I'll let, you, I'll let them show you that one. I can't even. I'm going to put any expectations on them, but I know for a fact they'll play hard. As hard as they can. They'll give it all they got. There was a stat published this week of 80-yard uh, runs by Illinois players, and uh, there's only been like 13 of them in the history of the program, and now you're on that list. Just, you know, that 80-yard run you had, just talk a little bit about that and how that was set up and, uh, you know, why, you know, why it happened, basically. Uh, I don't remember most of it. It was freezing. It was very cold. And I didn't have sleeves on. My clothes were wet because of snow. I was shaking. And I just remember... And so I don't really remember the first part. I, remember, I saw that I went through my reads, and I cut back, and I just saw it open, and I started running as fast as I could. And then I just remember thinking, like, get my hips through, get my hips through. And then he tried to tackle me. And I was like, nah, it's a little too cold to be out here any longer, so I got I to score now. And I think as soon as I scored, I threw the ball, and it ran straight to the sideline, and put a coat back on because <laughs> it was that cold. So uh, that's all I really remember, but... Once I watched the film, I saw my teammates and their effort they gave. That was the most impressive part. So we want to talk about anything. It's about them, the quarterback. Oh my gosh, through two blocks, a quarterback. That never happens. He should get an A plus for the team grade after that one. And uh, Sam Mays was dominating the corner on the outside, and everybody else had chased it down and chased down the backside of safety and everything like that. So. It wasn't, I just ran. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. I'm a play running back, I should do that. You know? So everybody else is, should be at the top of it. When you had you know, as many turnovers as you guys had mm -hmm. in that game, how, how do you cut down on that, you know, moving forward now and making sure that something like that doesn't happen again? Uh, no excuses, but that weather was ridiculous. <laughs> uh, that ball felt like a rock. You know, you can tell because they turned it over a lot too. So I think just like every team in the country, we got to get back to the basics and we got to take care of the ball more and prepare through any conditions. I'm pretty sure when we're going to practice, the ball will be soaked this week, <laughs> just in case. You know, it'll, they'll be spraying the ball with water probably every single second of practice. And just so we can prepare, but I think now we just have to go back to the basics and not get down on ourselves, but just be aware that we have to take care of the ball. We don't turn the Going into a different environment this week, probably than Wisconsin last week. Still a road game, but <clears throat> into Maryland, first time Illinois Maryland have ever played in football. So I mean, just you know, talk a little bit about what that environment could be like. It's not really a road game. This is a home game for me. So. Oh. Yeah, this is not really. I'm pretty sure I'll feel at home, and uh, my entire family will be there. It would be like playing in the backyard. So, um, does that help you? Once Knowing get, that you're going to be playing close to home? Uh, once I get out there, I can kind of forget about everything. But I think before, I don't think I'll feel like it's a real game at all. I'm being familiar with everything. I know you said a, a lot of people would be 